Hey there guys, welcome back to the Queen of Wands. I am Pat, we're shaking everybody. I hope all is well. I hope you got some beautiful plans for this Saturday and I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend thus far, okay? So, thanks for joining me again. I truly appreciate you all and all of my subscribers. Thanks for everything that you guys do to help me grow the channel. I truly appreciate that, okay? So I got some energy here where somebody's flirting with the ops. <clears throat> All right, somebody is flirting with the ops, and this is is only because this op, this side piece, this mistress, they could be kinky, okay? They could be kinky, all right? So somebody is off limits because they're already involved in another relationship, but somebody is obsessed with this person, okay? This is an unrequited love situation here. There's no love here. It's just fucking and sex. All right, and this is a hot and cold relationship. It's always on, then off, on and off. All right, but somebody's here just because they're horny. So somebody could be contacting a mistress just because they're horny. All right, and this could be a married man that has this mistress. Okay, all right. The next energy I have right here is just for passion and sex of why this person offer love. It could be a king of. Well, this just could be a water sign here, but it could be the King of Cups, okay? This water sign could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. And this person also is a stalker, all right? It's a lot of risk going on here, all right, with this passion, okay? It's a lot of riskiness going on here. Somebody feel open in the situation. This could be also an open relationship, but somebody is aware of what's going on here. All right, somebody have a lot of gratitude in a situation and somebody find this connection brings them happiness. Okay, so maybe this mistress, this side piece brings somebody happiness. Okay, what are the signs involved in this reading? All right, Holy Spirit, it could be a Virgo, a Pisces, definitely a Scorpio. All right, it could be a Leo, a Gemini. All right, a Pisces and a Libra, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, give us the energies that we need to know. So why is this an unrequited love situation here? Why is this unrequited? All right, because this is a love-hate relationship. It's just off and on, back and forth and shit. All right, yeah, somebody has an attraction, an addiction. Somebody can be dealing with multiple lovers. All right, multiple mistresses here. Yeah, and they're not getting anything solid in these relationships. There's nothing solid here. These are just empty relationships because somebody's already in some type of commitment. Somebody could be engaged, all right, but they're still obsessed with their mistress, okay? Yeah, this mistress could be different than what they're engaged to or proposed to or married to, okay? Yes, they feel rejected. Somebody feel rejected in a situation here, okay? This next energy is now somebody want to put the, put the effort in. Somebody could be a cook, a chef, pastries, all right? Something is not finished in a situation. This is how they feel with you, that something is not over, it's not finished, and somebody want a new beginning now, all right? A new beginning in a relationship, yeah, but somebody's being very deceptive. They could not be telling you this, or they're also still in a relationship with a third party. Okay, what is this energy here, Holy Spirit? Yeah, somebody feel foolish about the choice that they made. Somebody could have rejected you and chose someone else over you, and now they're not happy. Okay, yes, and they have a lot of regrets for how they treated you. Okay, candle magic could be involved in the situation here. Yeah, some shit ended here. It's over. All right, this cycle is closed out here. Yeah, somebody felt under pressure to make a decision about you, and they couldn't. They didn't, so that's why this is over. Okay, somebody feel very youthful and young and playful when they're with you, or somebody could just be dealing with young folks. Okay, yeah, it's a friends with benefit energy here. This is all you was getting out of this relationship and you could have ended that because of that situation here because somebody's also stuck in their ego, pride, snake-ass energy, temptation is here. Yeah, and there's some traveling going on here. 
You could have found out maybe somebody got married, went on a honeymoon here. You could have found out that someone traveled away with someone else. Okay? So somebody could be manifesting you back in their life. Or you could just be a manifester. Okay? What's this energy? Any more messages in this deck, Holy Spirit? Yes. And now somebody wants to reconcile with you. After they rejected you and chose someone over you, they still want to reconcile with you because they feel like what you guys have is not over. Okay? Somebody want to come and chase you. All right? They want to chase you, but they could also have other people chasing them. Okay? And this is your art. You're the target. Somebody see you as the one that they choose and they're targeting you. Okay? And they do want your forgiveness in this situation. Okay? That's what we have here for this deck. Let's move on. So somebody is obsessed with you, okay? But somebody made you the mistress here and the side piece, okay? Holy Spirit, why are they so obsessed? What's this energy? Why are they so obsessed, Holy Spirit, okay? Because this person is a runner. They have been a runner. When things start escalating, then they run away from you, okay? But now they're ready for a commitment. They want to take things to the next level here. And they really want to try to see where this goes. And they do want to put the effort in. Okay. Holy Spirit, give me some more energy. All right. Yes. Because <laughs> you have been the side piece. Okay. That's what they made you. But now they want to take the side piece to another level. All right. You could be a fire sign. A Leo, Aries, or a Sag. But somebody's also playing with fire. And that's how people got get burned. Somebody playing with fire, having a side piece here, all right? This person is unavailable, lacks presence, time, or emotions. They just want someone that they can fuck for their kinks and they, for their fun. And that's why you're a side piece here, all right? And now they're ready to love you. They want to make you the main piece instead of the side piece. But Divine said this will only be a sexual connection. That's all this will be is a sexual connection and you still might end up being a side piece. All right. Somebody's going through judgment and karma. Okay. But somebody also find you judgmental. All right. Somebody think that you judge them too much here. And this is a one sided relationship. All right. This connection is not balanced. Okay. That's what divine is saying here. There's no equal give and take. Somebody just see you as a side piece and they can come and fuck. All right. What's this energy here? Yup. They just want to boo up with you, lay up with you, sex, cuddling, spend the night every now and then. Just enough to keep you as a side piece. Okay? Distant. Thank you, Holy Spirit. A disconnect is disharmony here. It's always arguments and stuff here and this connection. Somebody is not taking this relationship anywhere. Okay? But Divine said it's okay for you to be perfectly imperfect. All right. Don't be judgmental of yourself. You have to heal and move on and don't make yourself somebody's side piece. All right. Any more energy in this deck, Holy Spirit? Any more messages that you want to? All right. They said all of this shit. Somebody's in denial. All right. This isn't what you're looking for. Somebody is ignoring the facts. If you continue to stay in a relationship where someone just want to make you a fucking side piece just for their kinks. Okay. You are authentic. Is what divine is saying. But this is why this person want to come back to you. All right. But divine say ain't no fucking love here. This ain't love. This is just fucking. Being somebody's side piece. Somebody's fucking mistress. mistress. This is all they going to fucking offer you. Ain't no love here. And that's what divine is saying. It ain't shit but jealousy. All right. They can't see you being happy. Somebody's jealous because maybe you're fucking happy. All right. And they just want to keep in touch. Keep you as a fuck buddy. Small talk here and there. Somebody ain't trying to give you shit. And that's what Divine is saying. Keep it moving. Somebody's still up to the same old fuck shit. All right. And Divine says somebody need to heal. All right. Somebody need to focus on healing instead of still trying to fuck all the time. Okay. Holy Spirit, tell us about this mistress. Okay. Tell us about this mistress and give us everything we need to know. All right. Tell us the T. Okay. This is the T. Let's find out the T about what's going on with this mistress. All right. This mistress is here because somebody paid this mistress. All right. It could be a sugar daddy in this situation and somebody paying this mistress. All right. That's why this mistress is here. They getting paid. Okay. Yeah. And they, but their mind is focused elsewhere. 
All right. Somebody's with their mistress, but they be focused elsewhere because they got a lot of other shit going on here. Tell us about this mistress. What's the tea on this mistress connection, Holy Spirit? Please give us the answers. What's this tea? All right. Yeah. Somebody's living a fast life here. And this mistress could be just part of their hustle. Okay. This mistress could be hustling with somebody. Okay. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Somebody's checking cell phones here. Okay. And this is somebody's thinking about saying goodbye to this connection. This could be the mistress that wants to leave this connection. Okay. What's this energy here? Yeah. Because this could be the ops. This could be the jealousy. All right. This mistress is just somebody that they flirt with and play games with and fuck. Okay. What's this energy? Yeah. Because Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. And one of his homes could be this mistress home. Okay. What's this energy? Yeah. Because somebody still got a lot of options. So you are not the only mistress here. Somebody still got a lot of options. Seven of Cups energy. All right. Somebody just got multiple mistresses. Look at this shit. This mistress is all about seduction and temptation. Okay. This is the karmic territory. This mistress is a karmic. And this mistress wants more now. They don't want to be just a mistress here. They want to claim some territory with this person. All right. But they still got exes cock blocking here. So it's definitely more than one mistress. It's exes. It's baby mamas. It's a lot of junk going on here. All right. Somebody could be a prostitute here. But somebody definitely getting paid in this situation here. All right. Trying to connect with somebody right here is like pulling teeth. All right. They feel like it's too hard for this connection here. Yeah. This mistress could be pregnant here. It could be an unwanted pregnancy with a mistress here. All right. So now children are involved here. Somebody could have a child with their mistress outside of their relationship or marriage here. Yeah. And somebody want to take a leap of faith. All right. So this mistress wants to take a leap of faith. They want more than just being a mistress. And they could have a child with this person that they're having an affair with. And this person could already have a family. Okay. But they also have a mistress. Yes. It's a lot of social media drama. Something that I got posted in regards to this secret child and mistress here. All right. What's this energy? Yeah. Somebody can't stop your flow. You don't give a fuck about none of these situations. This ain't who you is. You're not somebody's side piece. You're not somebody's fucking mistress. You don't give a fuck. You're just going on with the flow. Okay? Yeah. Now somebody see you as marriage material. All right? So you could have been the mistress. All right? But you kept it moving. All right? You could have a child with this person. But now somebody see you as marriage material. Okay? Yeah. And somebody could be talking in their sleep. I feel like somebody's in a connection, already involved, but they have multiple mistresses here. Okay? But it could be a main mistress that they love that could have a child with them. Okay? Yeah. Somebody's always crying these crocodile tears. Okay? Somebody's always crying here. It's like competition here. A lot of jealousy and shit. Yeah. Somebody want to be the main piece. Somebody want to be in the spotlight with you. They don't want to be a secret anymore. All right. Yeah. They want to be in this together with you. Somebody wants something real with you now. They don't want to keep being a secret anymore. Okay. So that's what I have going on here with this mistress. And the bottom card energy is, yeah, somebody's hiding behind a mask. Somebody's hiding a mistress. Somebody's hiding how they really feel about this person. Okay. So moving on here. So it's a lot of sex going on with this mistress. Temptation here. All right. Somebody's horny. Somebody be jacking off thinking about this mistress. Okay. Holy Spirit, what is the sexual energy and the chemistry between this mistress and this person? All right. Yeah. All right. So somebody's giving some good head right here. All right. Somebody's giving some good head right here. That's why they like this mistress. Okay. And this is, yeah, it could be somebody that work at work. Somebody's having a work affair, all right? Somebody keep them legs wide open is what I hear, okay? The bottom card energy right here, yeah, this mistress have threesomes with them. 
That's why they like this mistress, because they have threesomes, okay? Holy Spirit, what's this energy with the mistress? Yeah, this mistress makes them come a lot, okay? This is sexual focus. It could be a lot of kinkiness here, okay? And obsessed with your love, and somebody got some bomb-ass pussy. So that's why they like this mistress, all right? So this is the rated R part of the video, okay? If you're not mature enough, then click the fuck off. All right? Yeah. This mistress could get fucked in a car. All right? Let's go somewhere to get it on tonight. Somebody ain't going to hotels. They just fucking right in the car. Okay? That's why they keep this mistress here. Yeah. This mistress probably got some good sex in the morning. All right? It's a lot of sex going on here. And this is devour you. All right? So somebody's devouring this mistress, okay? It's a lot of sex here. A lot of oral sex going on here, okay? On both ends, okay? Holy Spirit, what's this energy here? Look at all these cards came out. So we got to go with it here. And this is come over sexy, all right? And hurry up. So this mistress, this is like the Knight of Wands. Somebody always slip over to the mistress's house and have sex with them. All right? Look at that. Make love. It's just all about great sex. Okay? And this is territorial. This mistress want to claim this person. Okay? It's a lot of territorial energy here. Yeah. And this is FaceTiming. So somebody could be like FaceTiming and doing sexual arousal energy here. Okay? On video. And this is tabletop sex. All right? This mistress fucks on the tables and everything like that and have a good time here. All right. And this is shaking and coming until they have that orgasm. Okay. And the next energy right here is midnight pleasures. This is where someone sneaks around at night to come and get a fuck. All right. The next energy is a good dick down. All right. So somebody feel like somebody got some good pussy and some good dick here. And that's why they hook up together. To have some great ass sex. All right. Yeah. And this is somebody doing some doggy style. Really hard. This could be some anal sex as well here. And yeah. And this is a thirsty beast. Somebody really with that tongue do type of energy here. Okay. <laughs> So that's why they digging this mistress here. And this is what happens. They think about this mistress and they get horny. And then this is how they get in the mood. And then they end up calling this person over so they can fuck. All right. It's all about this passion here. Okay. It's all about this love here with this mistress. All right. This mistress could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius here. All right. What's this energy on this mistress, Holy Spirit? What do we need to know? All right, yeah, it definitely could be going to the hotel that could be celebrating here as well. All right, having a good time. It's a lot of water sign energy here. The mistress could be a water sign or whoever fucking this mistress could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. Okay, what's this energy? Anything else we need to know? Yeah, all right. So they find this mistress an uh, equal give and take, a balanced out situation. This is also somebody could be paying this person heavily. Eight of Pentacles is here. All right. Yeah, they holding on to this person. They not letting this person go. Okay. This next energy is, but this mistress is thinking about walking away. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. All right. Yeah, this shit is over. So somebody could have ended this connection. All right. And it also could be a death in this situation. All right. But it could be an ending, complete ending. This whole situation could be over. OK. Yeah. Because somebody tired of being sneaky. Somebody tired of sneaking around in a situation. Libra, Aquarius and Gemini energy. OK. Then I got Virgo right here. So that's what I got that's going on with this mistress. Somebody realized that this is nothing but a sexual connection. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys for this video. If you'd like to book a reading, please email me at queenofwands50 at gmail.com. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.